Now the info block is a newer feature that's been added 3.7.56. So make sure you're updated to that version or newer to get this functionality. Info block is a new display element that theme makers can add to Reaper themes in the track control panel over here. So far, a number of themes have added it, including the default seven theme, which we're gonna be using in this video. Right now, my track control panel looks like this with a mute and soul button, effects button, routing, pan, automation mode, and polarity. But we could add another button to this. So let's go to the options menu and scroll down to themes and choose the theme adjuster, which opens up this dialog. We'll go to the track controls and scroll down. And before I show you this, there's one option that I tend to use quite often, the labels and values. And if I unhide this option, we can see in the track control panel, the volume adjustment for this track right here and our pan level. And if I adjust it, it changes based on the volume we change it to or pan. So I find that information pretty useful, but it is off or hidden by default. But with this new feature, we don't really need it. Let's scroll down a little further and choose use info block. And again, this is off by default. We can turn it on and now we have this info block right here. Right now we can see our panning. And if we hover over the pan, that's why we see this setting. It's set to the center, but again, it's dynamic. Go to the left or right or anywhere in between or back to the center to see where our panning is set up. But if we hover over the volume knob, we see a volume instead. And again, it's gonna change as it's dynamic based on the volume level, we change it to. It also works for polarity or phase. If I flip it, it looks like this. Otherwise, it looks like this. Notice the automation button is a bit smaller because the information is right here. If I change this to read mode, we can see it over here, but only if we hover over this. If I go back to my volume, I see my volume or pan or the polarity. It also works with a routing button. Right now we can see this track is sending to the master. It's sending to another track. And it also has a receive. And if we go down here, this track is sending to the master, but it also has just a send. And these tracks are just sending to the master. So we can see that information just by hovering over the routing button. But notice we only see it for this track when we hover over this track, or this track, or this track. But if we move away, we see it on all the tracks. And that's because when you hover over it, it only shows routing relating to that track. So if we create two new tracks, and send the first track into the second. When we hover over them, we see their relationship to each other. But that's just for the routing button. For the volume and pan and automation mode and polarity, we're gonna see it on all tracks. Now, while it doesn't work on the effects button, it does work for solo and mute. So if we solo this track, we can see that the other tracks show that they're not soloed and therefore muted or won't be heard. And if we mute the track, we could see that it's muted. And if we hover over the other elements, it won't change what we see as the muted state is considered the most important thing for that track. And it's the same thing when we solo tracks. All the other tracks will show not soloed no matter what. While the solo track will change based on hovering, the unsoloed tracks won't they'll stay as not soloed right here, while the solo track continues to change. And if we put this track into record, we could hover over it to see what record mode we're in. This track's gonna record the input, but if we change it to record the output, we'll see that over here. Or if we disable it for input monitoring only, we see that here as well, but only if our track is in record. Otherwise, we don't see anything unless we hover over something else. Now there's one other parameter we could also see, but we need to hover down over here in the transport, which is our track time base. We could see the project time base right now is beats, position, length, and rate. 
So we can see when we hover over this, the info block shows that time base. Or if we change it to be time, it changes to show us that time base. Or if we change it just for one track, let's change this track to beats. Now we see it with a slightly different button. It's a different color, letting us know that the track time base for this track is different from the project. These are all set up based on our project, and this one is based on this track. But again, if we hover over the volume, we see that information instead, or panning, or automation mode, or polarity. Let's put this back to trim. And notice, if we move our mouse away from this area, it's still gonna stay visible based on where our mouse was placed last. So if I put it on volume, we're always gonna see the volume for our tracks, even if we move our mouse over here. So we can work on our track, while always seeing the volume of our tracks. Or the panning, if we hover over the panning knob last, we're always gonna see the panning on our tracks, or any other choice we choose. Polarity, automation mode, or the routing. It's gonna stay here no matter what unless we change a dialog. If we right click on the info block, it opens up this dialog, where we could choose which parameters we're gonna see when we mouse away from the track control panel. It doesn't control what we see at all times, only what we see when we mouse away from these buttons. So with everything chosen, no matter which button we hover over last is the one we're gonna see. So it could be panning, I could play over here, I'm always going to see panning over here or volume, but using this dialog, we could just choose which parameter we prefer. So let's turn off everything except for volume. And now we're always going to see volume in the info block when we mouse away from the track control panel. We can still see panning when we hover over here. Well, if we mouse away back to the arrangement view, we're going to see volume again. And we could choose any parameter we want. If we prefer pan, we're always gonna see panning in the info block, unless we hover over one of the other buttons. But if we move our mouse away from the track control panel, it goes back to panning, or volume, or any parameter we choose. And we could choose multiple ones, or use the default, and just see any of them. So now, the last button we hover over is the one we're always gonna see. So if we care about our routing, just hover over the button, then work on our track, and we're always gonna see the routing in the info block for every track in our project, or panning, or the automation mode, or polarity, or volume. It just gives us more information that we could see dynamically as it changes based on where we place our mouse. And while it does take up more room, that space used is more efficient as we're just gonna see the information that we want to see. So that's pretty much it. That's the info block in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. It's Let's go. <laughs>